Quick Creator is a blogging platform I've been using for a while, not as much as I would like, I haven't quite had the time, but I've found this to be a really solid platform because not only does it host your blog, but it can host the website as well. So you've got a few different options. You can have it as a standalone blog. You can add it on as a subdomain, a C name to your existing website. And that makes this a great companion if you're using something other than WordPress and you want to add a blog, but you don't want to use the platform's inbuilt blogging system. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can get started with this and be up and running within 10 minutes. I mean, it's really quick and easy to get started. So when you come in, this is the main dashboard. It's got quite a few different modes uh, for blog writing. But the first thing you're gonna to want to do is head down to the theme. These are templates for the blog. So you've got a home page, the single post and category page. So if we take a look at the single post page, it's got an inbuilt, um, like a block editor, and this has been developed, this has gotten a lot better. And this is where you set things like your heading to make sure it's the same across all the different pages and all the different blogs. Once you've edited this and got it how you like, you can then save that as uh, your own heading. So I've got various headings pre-saved here, and then that will just appear at the top. This is the main contents. You forget the, the actual written bit here. This is just to, to demo. You have a nice contents at the side. You can show the right sidebar. And this is where you get a call to action. So if, if you're putting this on a blog and you want to direct people to your product or service, you want to activate this, edit this text, edit the button as to where it goes. And you can add uh, get started at the top. That has a button as well. So you've got, you've got a really nice looking blog, header, footer, all the good stuff that you need. So you've got a single post template, the homepage. Remember this is designed to be a blog rather than an actual website, it complements your website, and the category page if you're using categories. So once you've got those set up, you're ready to get started. In terms of, so, so when we say new post, you can see we've got quite a few different options. You can use a keyword driven post, topic expansion writing, product promotion, article fusion that takes several URLs and merges them into a new article. You can produce a listicle, a how-to, a comparison, explanatory, and analytical article. Now in the UK, we've just had a general election and I mean literally just had it yesterday. The results are only just out this morning. So I'm gonna try a bit of an experiment. And the first thing I'll try is this one. I'm gonna say blog wizard. So on this page, you can give it a topic. You can add your own knowledge. And this is really good because if you're looking to promote your own products and services, you can put your URL and extract knowledge from your website. You see it's now searching Google, it's gonna find reference article and I'm hoping that because this is such a big story, there's gonna be plenty of information out there to allow this to write a bang up to date article. And that gives you an edge over some other AI tools because any tool that just relies on the AI's knowledge will be out of date past the point that that AI tool has been trained. Whereas if you're using an AI tool that can go out and look online, then that will give you more up-to-date information and knowledge to put into the article. So the first step, it's got nine results and it's given various titles. Who knows resources? I, I throw this one, this is, a, this is a better one. Okay, and you can enter more requirements if you want for a general outline. That part is brilliant if you're trying to do some sort of comparison or top five, whatever. So let's say you're doing the uh, top five plumbers in a certain area and you're the plumber or your client's the plumber, you would put um, make Pat the plumber the number one in the list, and then it would use the information that you've provided it and it will write with that person's business at the top. So the next step after you've chosen your title and entered your requirements for the outline is to generate the outline. So this is a multi-step process. You enter the topic, you pick your title, you get the outline, and then at that point, you get the article written uh, in draft format, which you can then edit. So this isn't a churn them out bulk writer. This is something that will really help you get a solid first draft 
that you can then build on and add your own knowledge and there's some extra blocks that you can put in for call to actions and things that I'll show you in a moment. So here's the outline. You can edit this. They're correct. Labour was victorious. And so we've got, oh, this is looking really good actually. Reactions, statements from party leaders, analysis from political experts. As I say, this is a this is a breaking story. All the news channels will be talking about this today non-stop. So this, there must be so a decent amount of content already published. Implications. This looks really good. I've got nothing to add, but you could go ahead and change some of this round if you wanted to. So you see it's going to do one to 2,000 words to generate the article. When you have built up a few articles, one of the really nice things about this platform is it will generate articles and interlink them automatically. So it will find relevant articles and put them into your new ones, put the links into the new ones. This will also try and find suitable image set, images for your blog. I found that to be quite a miss because it is just using the general stock image library, the free stock image libraries, but it's a good placeholder. And then if you've got your own photos to go and add or you've got access to better images, you would go and pop those in and replace them. So here we go. This is now writing the blog. It's done all the research. And I, I tell you now, this is absolutely bang on. This is really good because it's picked up. We had 14 years of the previous government. It's picked up the new prime minister. Uh, many British voters came out to vote with a turnout of 60%. I don't know if that stat's correct. I would have to check that. And uh, a lot of attention. Famous Tories lost their seats. Yes, she did. So this, this, and this is the real benefit of this platform is this is actually factually correct as well. This is, you know, I've been looking at this um, this morning on the news and everything it's picking up has been correct. So you can see it's writing it as I'm talking. So I'm not typing, I can't type that fast about all this kind of stuff. It's even formatting it as well. So it adds the, uh, the bold sections to make it a little bit easier for people to read. So it's now finished writing it and you could press publish and have it published straight away or you can go to the editor to add your own information. <laughs> okay, that, that's a brilliant image. <laughs> so after saying that um, it's hit and miss, that's definitely a hit. So this is the editor. Now, first thing I have to tell you is it, it's, the, um, it's the 5th of July. This is breaking news today. Okay, the vote that we had the general election was yesterday on the 4th. And it's written a fantastic article. This is really up to date. It's really spot on. I can see there's a couple of little bits where we've got some stars. Now, I don't know if that's the formatting's gone funny or is that to do with references? There's no references down the bottom. So I suspect that might be some formatting issues. But regardless, we've got the start of a fantastic 
piece. This is brilliant. Um, so you saw that brand new up-to-date news and uh, it's come out with this fantastic article. So if I just go in and press this plus, we can go in and add our own headings. We can add a quote box, numbers, paragraphs. You can add an embed option, image, video. We can add icons, buttons, dividers, tables, calls to actions. So if I say a call to action, you've got this nice looking call to action. You can edit the button, you can edit the button text, the link. You can edit what the actual call to action is. You can edit this background bit where it's a little bit fiddly. There's the color picker for the background bit. We've got all sorts of options here. So you can make this look really good. Under SEO, we can see the preview of the Google search. We've got the URL in case you want to edit it. We've got the title, we've got the description and we've got the keywords. We've also got improvements. So this has an inbuilt uh, checker to give you some suggestions. So you might want to add the keyword. Also keyword score. So this is, if you've used something like Phrase or Neuron Writer, some, some of those kind of tools, it's built in to Quick Creator. And we've also got a content quality score, which is something they've developed themselves. And so if we hit this, it's now going to check it against the all important EAT, so experience, expertise, authoritativeness, trust, you know, that's what the article sounds like. So you've got lots of really great feedback all in this one single platform. You don't need to take the content and put it elsewhere. When it comes to publication, I've been using Quick Creator themselves to host my blog, but that's not your only option. So you can hit publish and you can set a custom domain or you can use their domain, but you can also export these and they can be exported to a, a standalone WordPress that you're managing, wordpress.com. There's a couple of other options. You can also download as HTML, text or markdown. So if you don't want to use their hosting, you can quite easily export these articles and pop them on to your own domain, your own website, wherever that happens to be hosted. It's got everything you need. I, I really like it. And the only reason I've not used it a little bit more is just the time factor. But where I have used it, I am getting results. So here you can see this is a, a full site. This isn't attached to anything. This is a, the Quick Creator site. And you can see over time, I'm starting to get more and more clicks. I just need to put more effort in on some of these posts to start building this site up more. So it's it's building up really nicely. So there you go. I genuinely do use this and it's, it's uh, performing for me. It's worth exploring each of these because they are all very specialist, but they are all really good and I find the the quality as you've seen is is fantastic and then you share that out on social media or via a sharing service like Missing Letter or something like that and you will get traffic. I find this to be a brilliant platform. You can also add extra pages and that gives us just a blank page that we then need to add blocks to. So we can add a header. We can add hero box. So there you go, very quickly I've just built up a new page. It's got some really great blocks. So within 10 minutes of signing up, you could have a blog set up and running. You could have the first post. I've obviously edited this video down so I don't waste your time waiting for these things, but it hasn't taken long at all. And then you can add, you can either publish it on a quick creator domain, you can use a subdomain, and uh, that's very easy to set up. You've got integration uh, for analytics, tag manager, the add text file, you've got uh, external name blacklists, and you can also add your own code, which is super useful if you're using this with maybe a, a third party CRM like I do. They do have a Discord channel, and I've got to take my hat off to the team behind this. They are super active. They love getting feedback. They love rolling out new versions that address feedback. They are a great team. So if you're looking for some way of creating a blog, but you don't just want to churn them out, you want to produce quality content, then I have to say, this is a great platform. If you want to learn more about it, I will put an affiliate link down below.